hi friends welcome back I hope you guys are doing amazing if you are new here thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and watch my video welcome to my channel so today will be a little garden tour fall garden tour um, give you guys update on what's going on in the garden and um, some plans that I have in place that after this video I will be starting uh, there's a few things I'm going to change. There's a garden bed I'm going to rip out completely, start all over. Sorry, I live in a city, so. You know, this is like my fifth time trying to record this video. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, forget all that. This is like my fifth time trying to record this video, and it's like, there's so many things just going on. I'm just. I'm just waiting for them to park. Okay. So as I was saying, we're gonna have, I'm gonna change a lot of things, so I'll, blah, 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 blah. child, you know what? Maybe this video should not get recorded right now because I cannot think straight and I cannot talk properly. Oh, child. All right, friends, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this area and explain what I have planned with the rest of the garden space. All right, guys, so to start on the porch, I do not have a wreath. I did not get around to doing my DIY wreath and at this point it just doesn't make sense because come November 1st I'll start to put up my Christmas decorations. Yes, I am one of those people. Yes, I am not embarrassed and yes, I love Christmas that much. <laughs> All right, so I have the white mums as well with some faux pumpkins that I can reuse every year. Um, the, these mums are about 95% bloomed out so once they're done they're done I've had them for a while so they're here all right so backing up with the pots on the steps gorgeous I just love these containers uh, so this is what it looks like I just love these containers guys <sighs> my apologies with the noise in the background Ah, oh boy. All right, so starting right here, we have this beautiful ornamental kale. I mean, just gorgeous. Just look at the leaves. Just take a look at the leaves, guys. I mean, come on. How gorgeous is this? I love the, um, the edges, the serrated edges. I just love the color. I love the veining with the dark pinkish purple with the leaves. I mean, just beautiful. It is underplanted with an Autumn Joy sedum, and there's a mom's there that just started to open. All right, so these two kales, they are ornamental kale, kales as well. Or the cabbage? Kale? Girl, oh, I can't remember. I'd have to look back on the tag. They are the same thing. They are the exact same thing, except this one on the right was in the shade, and the one on the left was in sun. So that's why hopefully now that they're all in full sun, it will color up, but I love, I love it. All right. And then come up to this big container that mums you see right there is showing red, but it's actually like a, a burgundy. It is gorgeous. It is a proven winners plumberry mums. I love it with a little faux pumpkin, um, creeping Jenny and child i want to say that's a cabbage but it looked like kale <laughs> i did not keep the tags and then on this side probably can't see it because it blends in this is a coleus this is just gorgeous it blends in but then you see the light green around the edges amazing so what happened was let me show you with this container this let me see if i can get it right celosia celosia child it died so I had to replace it with the coleus um, so that's why this is in this container it's the same thing I mimic the same thing on both sides just to keep it brief all right so that's what this area is looking like in those little hanging planters I have um, some small ornamental cabbage and kale it's a mix with hydrangeas in the back and some full pumpkins and some pansies that's all there is this basket guys this basket is everything okay this basket is snatching my edges clean off look at this lemon coral sedum i just have to touch it oh my god gorgeous everything is still looking great 
the um this cabbage right here colored up beautifully look at the throat oh my god and then the ornamental pepper still going strong everything looks good and this is where things went downhill <sighs> as you can see the moms they are struggling why because between a deer and a groundhog something came in the garden and demolished every single one of the moms they ate off the bloom so i'm thinking it's probably a deer uh the cage is empty just so everybody know the cage is empty i need to set back the trap so what i know is that groundhogs they love apples if you use anything else they won't go for it but they love apples so i'm going to set this back tonight just to see if there's something else left behind because there's no way the groundhog that i caught the last time came back here they could not find their way back here i doubt it because they would have to cross three interstates to get back here so i doubt it all right so these kale this is a kale yes they filled out great they're filling out and then these cabbages they colored up beautifully i mean look at this cabbage look at that oh my god it looks so good they could eat so this is what's going on in this front bed all right guys we need to talk about the salvia this is the proven winners fuchsia salvia and guys, this is a workhorse. It is October, the middle of October, and it's still going. It is still going. Um, in the morning times, I still see bees on this plant. Like this plant is a workhorse and a must have in the garden. This is my first season trying this um, salvia and I like it. Then in the back, behind my bird bath and behind my junipers, I have three summer sweet hydrangeas and i'm gonna let them get as tall as the bottom of the window they get about four to five feet tall so i'm gonna let them fill in that space about the bottom of that window that will look good and my junipers are doing amazing uh so these junipers are at their maxed size as far as width they can get about four to five feet in width okay um but as far as the base the base is at their max width they won't get any broader than that any wider but their little limbs they can stretch to about four to five feet you can control that by trimming them if you want to so that's what's going on with this bed nothing much has changed i need to pause this video real quick okay guys i had to take a quick break and now i'm back and it's raining um i think this is where we left off okay so all right one last span of this bed all right coming down this area uh there's a hardy hibiscus in the container it is not dead it looks like it's dead but it's not dead i will be planting it right about here and then though that little patch right here these are banana cream daisies they're not dead at all I need to dig those up and move them out or put them in another bed. This is my citrus tree. It has an orange on it. I'm getting ready to put that in a greenhouse. And then we have this area. This is the entrance to the new garden space I created this season. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave the containers for now and plant them up with bulbs for spring. But I'm thinking that this area looks a little bit dead because we come, let me slowly pan around. You come from a lush bed, especially in the summertime, it's really lush. And then you come down here and it's like, it's just some containers. Even though in the summertime, the containers, they do have color because I plant some annuals. I'm thinking to plant up this area as well, to continue. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have a big hibiscus and I'm gonna put maybe a small bobo hydrangea, um, a lot of perennials and then leave space for some annuals. Or I might just, leave the containers i don't know what, are, what do you guys think i love to ask your guys opinions and feedback and then i like to work from there you know because we're in this together so moving down into the new garden space towards the fountain to the right start to the right these are the little limes that got trampled by the worker from verizon who installed the phone line for the fax machine i will be moving them because 
they've been here for about three seasons and they're not thriving. They're growing, but they're not thriving. It's the difference between growth and thrive. They're not thriving. So I'm going to move them and put something else there. I'm thinking maybe they need more sun. I'm not sure. Or maybe they're getting too much sun. So we shall see. Uh, this new hydrangea I bought from Homestead Gardens in Severna, Maryland. I love this. This is an invincible spirit too. I do not have this hydrangea, so I had to have it. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm so excited to plant this hydrangea. Okay. By the way, guys, you guys should be proud of me. This is my cherry tree is going into the greenhouse as well, or my little coal frame. I finally have this bed cleaned out past the fountain i finally have this bed cleaned out guys remember this bed was like overgrown with a bunch of weeds i had a whole bunch of clearance plants i mean it's not a hundred percent you can still see a few weeds popping up it's been raining on and off so the weeds are coming back but it's it's cleaned out enough where i can plant weed and mulch again um this is also another hydrangea I picked up. It's a Gatsby, Gatsby pink oak leaf hydrangea. This is the first hydrangea, I mean, the first oak leaf hydrangea I am putting into my garden. I don't know what took me so long. Like, girl, what took you so long? Like, this is gorgeous. And look at the fall color on the leaves. I also picked this up from Homestead Gardens. Uh, so, yeah. So, let me pan around. This is what the space is looking like. Um, I have not decided on the pathway, the material I want to use for the pathway. I'm thinking brick to match the um, the foundation of the house and the chimney and the steps in the front, but I'm not sold on the brick. I'm also thinking um, a concrete material because all of our pathways, our walkways, everything else is concrete and maybe stain the concrete to like the color of the brick i don't know but this bed is still going strong the purple fountain grass the plain the blue salvia is gorgeous someone told me that it's a perennial in my zone seven so i'm not going to pull it i'm going to leave it and see if it comes back in spring uh, my holy grail hibiscus just put out a bloom um like two days ago and it's oh like they're still blooming one or two blooms here but they're not blooming prolifically like they normally do in the summertime but they still put out blooms it's october the middle of october so this um what is this golden dreams coleus is still it's still kicking butt okay it is showing out and of course the angelonias are still going strong everything in this bed is doing phenomenal so come spring the only thing that will be in this bed are my um hibiscuses because they are the only permanent plants in this bed and then i have to figure out what perennials i am going to use in this bed to um to fill it all the empty spaces in or if i want to repeat back annuals which i like to invest in um perennials things that come back every year and shrubs all right, so this is where the compost pile used to be, and it covered this whole thing and this concrete um, pad. It's cleaned off. It needs to be par washed in the spring, and I picked up this beautiful table on Facebook Marketplace for $50. My husband doesn't understand why I like other people's junk, because, but I, I just love shopping, yard sales, Facebook Marketplace. I just do. I'm gonna spray paint this in the spring, and I'm going to buy a beautiful umbrella to go up and some cushions for this piece. I am not ready to commit to a pergola just yet. So I'm going to work with this for now in this area. Um, and then behind it, I still have all of this planting space. Uh, don't worry about the weeds because once I plant what I'm planting here, put down some newspaper and mulch, they're going to disappear. We're also getting the the gate changed remember we're going to get the, ga the gate changed and we're going to get this uh garden space spruced up to match everything else this area will be planted up with a lot of clearance plants that i already have and already plants that i'm relocating from other areas in the garden to put here i have that rose right there is a beautiful light pink rose it smells amazing it's called queen elizabeth rose and it's oh the fragrance is whew, something to talk about it's beautiful 
in these containers these are some um obedient plant they bloom white i transplanted them from somewhere else and i just never got around to put them in the ground so they are here i have some other plants that i need to bring over here to get in the ground as well but i'm slowly working on this i'll be putting in a lot of hours but mostly mainly at night because that's the only time i can really work in the garden um let's see these trash bags are trash because i've been cleaning up I need to put them in the trash pile so the trash guys can get them and these are just plants that I have that will be going into the ground I just never got around to getting them in the ground some of them are clearance some are not and um, they all have a home okay they all have a home so one last thing before I end this tour right here this is what I'm thinking guys just bear with me I'm thinking to remove the rocks on the right side right because on the left I just never got around to get the rocks so I'm thinking to remove the rocks ex carry the garden bed out as far as I can in the middle to like kiss the foot of the the fountain and just plant plant it up lush almost almost like a meadow so like when you're walking in plants are brushing and kissing at your feet um the only thing that will be visible is the pathway you know that's, that's what i'm thinking here but i don't know it's just an idea for now i'm just going to leave it for the like this for this season plant what i have to get everything started going for next season and then come next season i figure out what i want to do and then again my crazy ideas in my mind might keep me up at night and i might just come out here and just go to work and tear everything out and just plant <laughs> so that's that for this garden tour um videos coming out after this is going to be a lot of planting because i have all the plants that i have in containers i have to get them in the ground so this is what's going on with this space i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys thank you so much for watching